Hello, I'm Dr. Shirley Disler, author of the Brick Math series, Teaching Math Using the Lego Bricks. In this session, we're going to be using Teaching Subtraction Using the Lego Bricks. And we're going to be focusing on Chapter 2, 10 Frame Subtraction Within 20. In order to begin this chapter and to show them how, you will need to explain to students about 10 frames. 10 frames are used to show students in grades 1, kindergarten, first grade, how to bundle sets of 10. They might approach this, though, in a couple of different ways. The first way would be to take a 2x4 brick and a 1x2 brick and combine these on the base plate, making 10 studs. Or they might take a 2x3 brick and a 2x2 brick and combine these on the base plate to make 10 studs. Now, once you've taught students to build the 10 frames, you'll want to add numbers to the 10 frames. So, for example, if we're going to show 10 added to 5 or 10 subtract 5, we would use the 1x1 one one bricks and we would place them on top of the 10 frames. So, in this section, we're just showing kids how to bundle 10. We're not to subtraction yet. We'll do that part in just a moment. So we're going to add our one by one bricks to the top 10 frame. When we do this, we actually have a bundle of 10. Now, if our number is greater than 10, we would continue to the next 10 frame, adding an additional five to make the number 15, for example. So when I've done with this, I now have a bundle of 10 and five more. So I would teach students to use one-to-one -one correspondence to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Now, one thing that we hope is that students will eventually, after using these several times, understand that when it's covered, it is indeed 10. And that helps them with sabotaging within the math content. Now, if we were going to use this 10 frame and we needed to subtract 8 from this, we could simply teach students to remove 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and count what is left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 15 take away 8 is 7. That's one method. Another method would be to use the 10 frames and to place the bricks that you are subtracting on top of the 10 frame. For example, we begin with the number six. So on this 10 frame, we have six studs in this orange brick. So we are going to be looking at the orange brick as our start number. We are now going to subtract four from this number. We can do that a couple of ways. We can take a two by two brick place it on top of our first brick. And when we have this model, we are looking at the center brick to see how many studs are left. And we see that two orange studs are uncovered. Therefore, the solution to six, take away four, is two studs. So that's a second option that we have for teaching subtraction. Another thing that students could do, if they had 10 and they wanted to take six away from 10, they could place the six on top and find the actual brick that fits to cover the studs that are missing. Are missing. And when you do that, then you see that 10, the 10 frame, take away six is equivalent to four studs because that's the brick that fits in to make the hole. This process actually looks at part, part, hole, and it also is a great lead in to fractions in third grade. This is subtracting using 10 frames with the Lego bricks. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Next, we'll be looking at addition with 10 frames. Have a great day.